Hey everybody, welcome back to Morning Dew Farms, what I think is our final episode. Can you believe? I can believe. Anyways, we're, we, we, Butch won't leave us alone, so here we are. Cody, I needed to see you. Okay, what did you need to see us for? Alright, I wanted to see you too. I literally just left your place. We had an experience together. In the moment, it seemed like you enjoyed it. Yeah. Sometimes in the light of day, things can sour. I Am I gonna get dumped? To Am I gonna restart this round? You still wanted to be my sub and my boyfriend. I do! I want both! Well, that's great. I shouldn't have doubted it. How about I take you on a date this Sunday? Finally, I get taken on a date. Finally! <laughs> Finally, this man will take me on a date! I don't know if I'm recovered enough for a date that soon. Boy, it's Monday. He's talking about taking you out on Sunday. Calm down. Don't worry. It will just be a normal day. Really? Of course. I'd love to. I'll see you then. So many Man. Oh, he's taking us nice. fishing. That's nice. I love fishing, and it's even better with you here. I'm quite a fishing enthusiast myself. Sounds like we're going to get along just fine. Heck yeah. I love the bondage. I'm into the prepping, and the two of us just click. Do we really? Sure is nice to finally have something real with someone. Is this real, is it? Ain't that the truth. Fucking around at the bathhouse is fun and all, but eventually you want someone to love. Well, you know, if you wanted to keep going to the bathhouse, I wouldn't mind. What? Really? Well, I don't care if you continue with meaningless fucks, Cody. There's no chance you'll catch anything since all the STDs were eradicated by a wizard or scientist or something. What? <laughs> There's this, is there this whole underlying world to Morning Dew Farms that I don't know about? Yes, that's right. That's the only reason we're able to fuck without condoms. Is this supposed to be a joke? Got, Got it? it? I know your heart will always be true to me. Is this addressing Got me? I know your heart will always be true to me. Well, that works for me too. I want you to be happy. That's what's most important to me. Butch, I'm so happy with you. Feels like I found the perfect boyfriend. Cody... I somewhat feel I don't deserve you. I wonder what would give you that impression. Stop that. I'm beside myself someone as gorgeous and kind as you would have me. Okay, finally. Finally he likes us for something other than what we can do for him. You rock my world, Butch. I dream of our future together. I have love. Now I just need security. Oh, for God's sake. I can see us having a great future, too. Heck, I need you to get me ready for whatever might happen. Don't fret about that. I've got you covered. <sighs> Here's my gorgeous boyfriend. Hi. Hey there, handsome. I was hoping you'd come by. Cody, I've been thinking a lot about us. I think you're the one. The one I'm meant to be with. We've been dating for 35 days, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else who identifies as something other than a lady or a gentleman. Butch. Gentle people. What the- Oh my what god, are you wait. Doing, Butch? What? <laughs> We're getting proposed to for once in our lives? Cody, will you wear my collar and be my sub for the rest of your life? What? What is this bag that I'm holding? Uh, Butch? Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. Then you just made me the happiest man in the world. Oh, Butch? We need to have a ceremony to make it official. I want to have the whole day open for you. So, can you come by next Sunday? Another week? Heck yeah. I can't wait. I'll see you then, beautiful. Another week. I have to wait another well, week thanks, to Nuzma. marry this man. Wait, what the heck? Weren't we supposed to uh, Let me, well, thanks, go Nuzma. through some ceremony or something? Okay, there. Glad you came. Thank you. You knew I would. Yeah, I did. Okay, enough with the innuendos. So this collaring ceremony, it's another bondage thing? That's right. But this time, it's special. I'm going to push you to your furthest limits. <laughs> God. It's going to be more intense than most anything else we do. See, Cody? You have to show me how bad you want to wear my collar. This seems a little disturbed. Show me how much it means to you. I won't let you down, uh, sir. Oh, I know you won't. Not in the heart is beautiful. Okay, we. I have to skip this. Okay, that was something. He told me to meet him at Jace's ranch? Why? How many chickens? I can't buy chickens. Well, he asked me to meet him there here. You are. Of course, I'd come like you asked me. But what's going on? Wow, 
Sumra has gifted me with two visitors oh, to my ranch friends. today. Oh, snow. What can I do for you, friends? We're here to get some prizes on livestock. We are? Now right away, lover. I'm just planning our future. Oh, well, that's fine, I reckon. I'd be happy to sell my animals to friends like you. Of course, you'll need to have good shelter from- Do you have- I'm going to pay for a bond- What? Relax now, if we set up a house to get- Right, but you're- Once you have a barn, food and water, and- What kind- We'll need a heifer for mill, then we'll need another two steer, unrelated to the first. Wow, are you- This is all for our- pr To sell you four steers, I must know that- Oh, we've got the room, and we're We are? Of course. We can't- Right. That sounds- I could sell you two heifer yearlings and two bull yearlings who are of ex- Sounds good. They will be set- That's- But- I can't afford one of them cat- This'll be my- In addition- We'll need some hogs and sows as well. Unfortunately- You do- People only buy pigs in this- I don't want any of my animals to be slaughtered. They must live happy long lives wherever I sell them, and eventually die of old age. Ah, uh, see. I sell animals that are used for other things besides me. Cows for milk, bulls for freshening, sheep for wool. I don't know what eggs. freshening means, and I'm too scared to Google it, y'all. I appreciate your conviction, Chase. I'm worried I'm going to learn a little bit more about animal husbandry than I'd like. You have goats? I have many fine milk goats. We'll keep goats, too. Breed stock. And we'll need a lot of chickens. But hold on. It's getting pricey. I have money, Cody. What I don't have is land at a good location that can be fortified. You're bringing your farm to the table. Let me be the one to fill that table. But this is so much. I'd buy them for us, Cody. I appreciate that, you know. You did, Cody. You made your home big enough for the two of us to live in. That can't have been cheap. Okay, you're right. We won't do everything all at once. Prepping is a process. It could take quite a long time for us to get where we need to be. My work at the store will keep me away most days. I'll be relying on- I'm a- I guess I've talked- We'll start on getting- Wonderful! I'll- Why don't we see how much a bond will be at rough- Sounds good. When am I gonna get married? When am I gonna have my happily ever after? Do- Do I get a happily ever after? Or is literally all of this just about prepping for the end? Am I gonna watch my friends die? What even is this game anymore? Hello there. Hey, gorgeous. What are you two doing together? We are together. We're a couple now, Rusty. What? Jeez, I don't know which of you I should be jealous about. Okay. Come on now, Rusty. We were only friends. Yeah, but you were always good for a lay when I was down. Oh, are we... Can we have a... <laughs> Find yourself a lady. You know that Rusty's bisexual, Cody. I did not know that. That is actually interesting and good to know. Great. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Glad. I'm glad? Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe you can Why get with my sis. <gasps> oh my god, could we? Oh my god. Don't tease me. I'm in no position to get into a relationship. Okay, well, that made me sad. That really disappointed me. I was really excited. Unless she's down for something casual? I don't know, actually. Yeah, it'd be weird if you know that about your sister. <laughs> it's funny. She knows all about my sex life, and I ain't got no idea about her. I really just want to know more about Sissy. So did you two just come to rub your romantic bliss in my face? Rusty, I think, is a little Oh, upset. Rusty. Don't pay your sour grapes no mind, Cody. He could have been with me a long time ago if he wanted to. Yeah, as your sub, ain't nobody tying me up. Don't knock it till you try it. Damn it! You were into that, Cody? Duh. Oh, why didn't we get together? I'm much cuter than Butch. I did. I, baby, I chose you first. <laughs> Lucky for me, you'll never commit to anyone. <laughs> All right, enough bantering. We're actually here on business. I'd like to have a barn built on Cody's property. A million dollars. Rusty. Are you just set on being a little bitch today? Okay, maybe you need to not insult him. He's clearly taking this really hard. <laughs> Harder Fuck than you. I expected. Fuck both of you. I'm heartbroken. Jeez. Oh. Would you stop? Do you want to date us? I don't understand. No. Please, Rusty, won't you give us a real quote for me? Fine. Ten thousand dollars. That sounds more reasonable. He'll do it for five thousand, so I know he ain't being reasonable. He's still being a salty little- That's still a lot of money. I'm handling it, lover. You know it'll be okay. Alright, gorgeous. I'll let you spoil me. Would you two get out of here before I lose my lunch? I'm so sorry, Rusty. I'll set you up with my sis. I'll put you- I'll put in a good word for her. Oh, okay, we're going to our sister. Sissy. Sis? 
Cody, what brings you here? I needed to talk to you about my relationship. Sure. How are things with you and Butch? How did you know I was going out with Butch? Are you guys having problems? Oh my god! <laughs> Rusty? What were you doing in Sis's house? He came over for some Netflix and sweet tea. Oh, that ain't all he came over here for, honey. I know you lying. I know you lying. You get some. Get some. What's going on, Cody? Oh, well, it's just... Get some, He's girl. fixing to buy me all this stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Stuff like what? Like a barn. Oh. A lot of livestock, too. Is he going to move in with you? I think so. Eventually. Then he wants to do his prepping on your farm. I don't think you should feel uncomfortable. He's really buying that stuff for himself, not you. Oh, uh, I guess that's true. As long as you agree with all the improvements, there's no reason for you to feel uncomfortable. It would be different if you were trying to get him to buy things for you. No, I definitely ain't. Then he knows you don't just want him for his money. He feels secure enough to invest in your life together, Cody. I reckon that's true. Thanks, sis. See you inside. So, you and Rusty... Don't pry, Cody. It's not like I ever butt into your life. Woman, you butt... You literally... Your purpose in this game is to butt into my life. <laughs> That's your entire purpose. You're not even really a full-fledged character. <laughs> come see me if you need any more help. Yeah? Why well, there? I thought I'd come by and take you out to dinner. Oh my god, are we going to the winery? I got reservations for the grand reopening at the winery tonight. We've got a new chef who's pretty good. That's interesting. So Sanjay will eventually find Nuzzler on his own? Wow, that sounds great. Let me go freshen up. And put on a shirt. You sure the gold is No, that not around. a collar. A shirt, my son. I've been dying to wear it for you. To us. To us. Mmm. This is some nice wine. I love I love how the swine stem looks. The food's not so bad tonight either. I'd almost given up on this place. <laughs> food used to be terrible. I'm glad we got a nice restaurant to go to now. I'm growing grape vines for the owner of this place. He wants to make his own brand of wine. Is that a fact? Aren't you an enterprising little bastard? <laughs> you know, with that collar, it kind of looks like your overalls are a fashion statement. Oh, you think so? Ha! Ah! I knew you were here, you monster! Wait, what? Stop it! Get away from him! Uh, you hear some commotion? Ignore darling. Let's not let anything spoil our night. Okay, master. <laughs> let me buy, Sam Flea. Run! Oh! Dying, that's distracting. I wonder what's going on. I saw one of our enemies around here, Cody. What? He was looking around the windows, and I made sure the sheriff... You son of a... <laughs> oh my god, he's sheriff the reason. Asshole, but he's taking care of things. We're not ready to protect ourselves yet. We can't let any of them infiltrate us. Lemuries are scouting to take over. Dang, things are serious. Not yet. And I'm making sure things don't get out of hand. Thanks, Butch. I'm lucky to have you. I'm the lucky one. Will you come by the store when you get time? Something I want to talk to you about. Sure I will. Oh my god, we chose the evil route. I feel like this is... I feel like we're playing Fable right now, and I chose the evil route. But somehow Nuzzler's still there. Uh, it would be cool if all these... It's kind of unfortunate that, like, not all the routes tie together. Um, especially when they kind of do this thing where some of them may tie together, but not all of them. You know? I think if they were gonna do that, they should've just gone all the way with it. Butch? Well, I'm here alright, beautiful. I was just getting something from the bag. Cody, you know I love you. Of course, Butch. I love you too. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. We're already bonded as dumb as so. It seems only right. <gasps> we become bonded as husbands too. Butch! Cody Plum, will you marry me? Yes! We did it. We got married. We got married, y'all. And as you guys all know, I have to skip the next part. Okay. We'll put the barn over here. Uh, this would be okay, a good place to feel the crops, actually. The barn ought to go behind the house where it's blocked from the sun. Good thinking. We'll plant the alpha. Here's where- Yep, Sam. I can get us a lot of- Really? So- Sure thing. Right. Uh, 
Oh, of course. Okay, so they're just talking to me about prepping. Months later. I didn't think I could do so much with this farm in such a short time. There's so many animals. You've ramped up everything. Not even when I dated Jace for there's this many animals. We got ourselves a beautiful farm now. And we're prepared. Sure feels good. I couldn't got none of this done without you, Butch. You know I did it all for us. Now the farm makes us even more than the store. I made a good investment in you, Cody. I would love it when he talks about me like a business plan. <laughs> yeah. And I made a good choice with you, Butch. Butch and Cody lived happily ever after in an apocalyptic wasteland ruled by furries. But that is another story and shall be told at another time. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We made it to the end of Morning Dew Farms. I'm going to take a minute to collect myself, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this game. Think of it like a review, but it's very discombobulated, like most of my videos and most of my train of thought. So, what did I like about Morning Dew Farms? Well, I really loved the voice acting, the character designs were great, I liked the setting, um, and I liked the mechanics. Uh, for the game, especially when it came to farming, when I played the demo originally, uh, when I was when I was still with Game Luster, uh, I played the demo on the site, and the farming mechanics were a little bit goofy, and they definitely cleaned those up. However, there are a lot of problems with this game that um, still kind of just they, it, it bothers me. Did I have fun when playing Morning Dew Farms? Yes, I did. Did I enjoy it at times? Yes, I did, but there are things that definitely bother me. For example, the fact that there are like unfinished character sprites in here and character uh, like Tita and uh, Michael, the fact that those are unfinished is strange. It feels like this game could have used significantly more playtesting, especially because, I mean, we came across things that were bugging out, guys. We came across entire sections, especially in Rusty's route, if you guys remember, there were entire sections of voice acting that were supposed to be there that weren't there. Um, there were other issues and other bugs that were reported, and the thing is that these guys were originally planning to release this game in 2020, or I think at least, I think it was either in December or it was supposed to be in January uh, 2020. And it's just like, they released it early, and I don't quite know why they did. I think that they had so much more time and opportunity to really hone this game and really make it, you know, an incredible game. I mean, if you were to compare this to other sort of gay dating visual novels, there are a lot of them that involve, like, resource management. You know, like, coming on a top, yeggs, that's all about, um, that, that's not necessarily, it's not about farming, certainly, but it's about maintaining your relationships with other people, making sure that you pass your classes and everything. I mean, there are a lot of other visual novels in general where resource management is a mechanic, uh, and I just felt like they could have honed that a little bit more, worked out some of the bugs, and also just like with the mining and with the fishing, well, the fishing, no, the fishing game I actually don't mind, but the mining, the mining and the fact that, like, the mining, ev that there's no kind of variation or randomization to anything, I can literally memorize after a certain point when I'm going to go into the mine and when I'm going to be able to retrieve something. And I think that had they taken more time to develop the game, they could have made the mining possibly something a little bit more interesting. And then on top of that, I really think that they could have used some beta testers or possibly some sensitivity readers for some of the lines of dialogue that they were talking about. Um, they kind of like make fun of themselves at certain points kind of with with the bathhouse and the whole the whole thing with the STDs not existing in this world and I'm just kind of like or maybe you could just take the feedback that other people are giving you and not make a game that makes people uncomfortable like the whole thing with the bathhouse and I've said this from the get-go I was really uncomfortable with the bathhouse because there's this whole rule of no talking and I'm like how are you supposed to establish boundaries and consent when there's no talking that's allowed. Like, you can, you could potentially do that in a relationship with somebody that you're really comfortable with. To tell the truth, when it came to playing Morning Dew Farms, I've heard, like, other things about uh, To Trust and Incubus and, like, their previous games in the past that they've done that maybe weren't so good. People were saying, for example, that the games were unfinished, that there were some things that were kind of insensitively handled, and I see that in this... For as much as I love the routes, like, with Sanjay and other, um, and other characters in this game, 
there are some things that I felt like could have been handled better or could have been addressed better. And that's what sensitivity readers are for. They're there to kind of help you point out things that you might not be so aware of. And it just felt like some of those things got through the cracks. Um, especially kind of looking at Cody, I'm still bothered by how Cody calls Sanjay like a racist name. And then all of a sudden, you know, as soon as San can't Cody starts dating Sanjay, he's woke as hell. <laughs> you know, he's like, this sheriff is racist. And I'm just like, if you're going to write that Cody has to kind of progress as a character, there needs to be, that needs to be clearly established. We need to know that Cody is learning. Because obviously no one is perfect, and I think it's fine for him to be learning, but it just kind of felt like the changes were like that when it came to some of the characters. And I don't know, you know, I felt like Morning Dew Farms could have been way better than it was. I hate to say it. I did like the game uh, in some parts, but there are other parts that I was just kind of like, mm, I don't know. I backed this game on Kickstarter after the demo came out. I was I was kind of I was kind of wanting to give these developers a chance, but I really think that for their next game, especially since they're running a Kickstarter for their next game right now, they need to spend more time on their next game. It's really great that they want to deliver uh, deliver the game and like all the extras to their backers early, but you also have to make sure that you're putting out a good product. Uh, Morning Dew Farm, you know, I'm not one to kind of judge sort of what the value of a dollar is for an individual person, but this game normally retails for about $25, I think, on the Steam store. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up an image here, just so that I know that I'm not talking out of my ass here. There are games that you can get that are free, uh, or cheaper than that, that are more polished. So, I definitely have mixed feelings about Morning Dew Farms. I really wanted to love this game, and when I played the demo, I thought I was really going to love it. I thought that this was a game that I was just like, I'm really excited to see kind of the combination of the of the farms and everything and uh, see the combination of like the dating sim and like the farm management and how that kind of works together in a visual novel. Uh, but, but there are other aspects of this game that just fell through. I don't know. Um, you guys have seen the playthroughs yourselves. And I know that some people have also been just like in these moments where it's just like, what what am I playing? Uh, what is even happening in this game? Um, so I think that I think that you guys get where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to be overly harsh, but I am trying to say that like I I, I would be cautious to get another game uh, with with this developer. I I think that they I just think that this game just needed more time. Just given what I've seen when I was playing it, and just given my experience, and it's totally fine to disagree with me. I am not the end-all, be-all kind of voice of reason uh, for anything, uh, but this game definitely needed more time. That being said, I did enjoy playing it. I did have fun. I did like the characters, and like I said, I did like the voice acting, and the mechanics uh, for farming were at least really well thought, thought out, and it does have a fishing game, so there's that. Yeah, that, that that's pretty much all I had to say. I thought I, I, I thought I would have more. Uh, that's, that's just all I kind of wanted to say about this game. Uh, thank you to everybody who has been watching the series. I hope that it has been informative for you, and I hope that you've had fun. Even if I couldn't show you, like, all the uh, adult parts for reasons that I would get uh, blocked, I would, my channel would be taken down. I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that would, like, report a video and take, and take it down, but thank you to everybody who's been following the series, who's been putting up with my shenanigans, my random tangents, such as me talking about how much I love Ginger. That was a random I I was considered editing that out, and I'm like, you know what, no, I'm going to keep that in there. Um, and I hope that if you guys have any more games that you want me to play, uh, that you can suggest more games for me to play. I like playing visual novels, but I also like playing open world games. Um, I've got a couple of demos that I'm looking to check out, which I've mentioned before. Uh, so definitely stick around on this channel um, if you want to see more games. Uh, I'm also excited to may possibly be checking out things from the Yuri Game Jams and the uh, Bar Game Jam, the Bar Game Jam especially, uh, because uh, the Bar Game Jam also had All Men Are Pigs, which I recently backed on Kickstarter as well. So you'll be go you're going to be seeing me playing through that game as well on this channel. So, anyways, I've taken long enough as it is. I've talked enough as it is. I've heard my voice for a very long time now. 
I'm very tired. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. It really does help my channel out. You can please subscribe to my channel, and then you can hit the notifications bell for when I upload future videos. Now, thank you all so much. I hope to see you here on the next video. Bye!